My name is Peter Bruninger. And I'm Terry Arinci with AV Showrooms. And we're here for Reviewer's View Hi-Fi Deluxe Munich 2019. And it was a great show this year. It had 30 plus exhibits. That's a record for Hi-Fi mm -hmm. Deluxe. And the sound was exceptional. No kidding. It was just yeah, outstanding. It really was. So uh, Terry, start us with the room. Okay, I think I'm going to start with C-Wave Acoustics. Mm -hmm. They had a horn loudspeaker that was called the Plutinus. And they were paired off with the audio net amplifiers. Yeah, the amp. It's a it's a monoblock amplifier. Uh -huh. It's smaller than the Macs that we have in mm -hmm. our system. Uh, it was an outstanding handshake with that amplifier. No kidding. To the speaker. It yes. really did. We played uh, from Chasing the, the Dragon CD, Angus Day. Mm -hmm. And it was just beautiful. When that bass pedal came in, Wow. it was just wow. a powerful and realistic sound. Uh, hats off to Sea Wave and Audio Net for that room. Yeah, that was that was a truly exceptional mm -hmm. room. Um, Terry, how about another room before I jump in? I'm going to say Fine Audio, and that's F Y N E, Peter. Okay. They had a very warm, engaging sound with their F700 series loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. uh, we played the live version of the Michael Michelle Jonez, if you remember. It was and great. It was just wow. We were, yeah. Before we even came into the room, it grabbed us. Well, you could hear it from the hallway. Uh -huh. it, it was it was an enveloping warmth coming yeah. from that room. Yeah. And it was when you came in, it was an, uh, it, it was like you had put a, a, a glove, a, a well worn glove on. It was that kind of it system that, that just you it, liked. It just grabbed you. Yeah, it grabbed you. So grabbed that you. Was grabbed you. Mentioned. Yeah, yeah. So a shout out to Fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'll throw another room out. I'm going to throw out Synergistic Research. Uh, we cover Synergistic at most all of the shows. Uh, Ted Denny does an exceptional job of giving us uh, uh, demonstrations with uh, with a product in the system, either the power cell or whatever product he's demonstrating with it in and out. This year we just did a nice walkthrough. We talked about the new technology, the new cabling, but what stood out in this room for me was the smooth sound. This was smooth, yes, it was. smooth. Karma loudspeakers, Thrax Electronics. Thrax Electronics. This was just one of those I wanted to stay here all day and have cocktails. It was, yeah, it was and good. He, Ted explains his, his products in the video. Yeah, so the PowerShell 12 Galileo. Yeah, yeah, he that's talks important. about that. And he so talks let Ted to, yeah. tell you about that. Yeah, let Ted, let Ted, we can't talk for Ted. Let Ted do the talking for himself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, a shout out uh, to Synergistic. Great room. Terry, another room. Aratai, which is a new ah, company, new yes. ish, I think. Yes. From Latvia, young men in there. Yes. All excited about their four way passive loudspeaker. Uh, we played craft work in there. Oh, and my And the goodness bass gracious. and the integration was just off the charts. And, and as one of the designers said, what they wanted to do with the bass was get both deep and punchy. Yeah. Because his experience is either a nice punchy bass or it's nice and deep, but not both. And I think they achieved both. I think they did too. <laughs> This has impressed. a compression driver on top. It's a it's a horn. It's a yes. white horn. You can see see it here. Uh, it was a beautiful exhibit room that they put mm -hmm. together. Uh, the sound of the craftwork was, I, I have to say, this was really live event sound. Yes, it was because of the bass impact, because of the fullness and the reach of that woofer, with the transparency. Of the of the top driver of the high frequency driver and the mid range driver, the, the, it was like all of one. Uh, we talk about that a lot in audio, mm -hmm. but this really did sound a very very coherent design. Yeah. This is a major up and coming product. No kidding. Major no up and coming kidding. This project. This is a real find at yeah. Hi Fi Deluxe. Aratai. Aratai. A R E T A I. Yep. So Aratai. Check that out. Let's check it out. Where do you see the video? It's gonna blow your doors off. <laughs> Terry, how about another room? Okay, Viva. Yeah. It was a full Viva room, yeah. as per usual. Yep. And it was just wonderful. I mean, they played the song Liberty. Our bodies are hurting like hell. They promise to never leave us alone. Uh, by the, the Norwegian vocalist, and uh, I heard information in that song that I had not heard before. It was stunningly It was so but detailed, but, yep. but what I really love about the Viva, Viva Room is that it's a very detailed presentation, but it has lots of emotion and lots of warmth at the same time. That's an achievement to have both. No kidding, no kidding. And that room delivered it, so... 
Yeah. Again, congratulations, Viva. Yeah, Viva did a really, mm -hmm. really good job, and uh, you'll see and hear it in the video. Okay, Terry, another room, please. Okay, I'm going to go for the Alcivox Caravaggio, I believe is the name of these four panel loudspeakers. Yes, unbelievable sound in this room. Uh, it takes the, they have a tweeter, mid range, and woofer in one panel, which is like the Botticelli, and then they add a ribbon planar subwoofer. Mm -hmm. So it's got four panels, viewers, and it just filled the whole Whoa. side of the we room. We segued yeah. from a classical oh, number to Kraftwerk gosh. German beat. I mean, a really different. Boy, it just, it just knocked everybody's socks <laughs> It was wild. It was, the sound was so perfect. It did everything right. It did everything. I was stunned by it. it now, was, it, the room could have been a little bit better because I think standing up against the wall was the optimal position. In the for back me. of the room. That's for me, where, it was. Yep, for me, too. I, I missed a little something when I sat down for a minute. Yeah, they had a listening chair down mm -hmm. low on the floor, very yeah. low on the floor, uh, within the equilateral triangle. And I thought that it was just a little, it was a, it, it was a little too much in mid range in there. But you really had to stand back again. And it was like, oh my god. If you gosh. have these in your room and you Whoa. optimize them, it, it, it's a, one of the best loudspeakers I think you can get. I, I said to both Daniel Cohen and Renato from Omega Audio Concepts, I said, you know, guys, if I had a room that could fit these, I'd be writing you a check right now. It was that. The impact was off the scale. Yeah, it was that good. And, it, you know, yeah. Renato from Omega Audio Concepts has a brand new product to talk about. He talks about it yeah, in the AV Show's yeah, video. Yep, new, uh, new model about, blocks. Yep. Yeah, something like 12 power supplies each. I yeah, mean, listen, see the, I mean, it's crazy. It's I don't crazy. even remember I so many power supplies. I know, I know. But it, this system gave you <laughs> extreme dynamic punch. Mm -hmm. I had, I had, it has a dynamic punch of an MBL Extreme. And, but yet it gives you that whole layering that MBL cannot do. No, it's uh, not that uh, omnidirectional. They, they, yeah, because um, because MBL's omni. So this gives you They're that... More diffusive. Di yes, it's much more diffusive. This gave you the exact image which placement, which really was just unbelievable. startling. So My gosh. One of the great finds. Of yeah, great finds. The and they do tone. They do rhythm. They do pace. And they did everything. They do it all. So, again, a uh, big okay. shout out to Elsa Vox. Um, I'll throw one out. Uh, I'm going to throw out the Malvalve room. We film this room every year. And the, if they, they had the speaker set up between a room divider, so it was just a little off the mark. But you could hear on the one speaker, I mean, you, cause in other words, I was listening mono, because I was just listening to the one side. These are great speakers. These were the, uh, the ones with the single... Uh, Electrostatic magnetic yep, static Magnetic static, yep. Yeah. And this was the number four, if I'm not mistaken, not sure uh, in the range. You'll and see it, it in the video. You'll see it in the video. And it was absolutely spot on. Mm -hmm. But because of the way the room was set up, it just it, it, the sound staging left a little bit on the table. But just we know them now. And the, the, the sound is wonderful. It's all just, he has a beautiful sound. Just beautiful, the beautiful. beautiful yeah, beautiful, fast, and organic mm -hmm. sound uh, from that um, yes. magnetostatic, electrostatic speaker. Yes. Uh, just outstanding. Um, I'll throw out, how about you throw out the room this time? Uh, Chroma. Chroma. And the little babies. Yeah. With the Picasso electronics. Yeah, we Ooh. filmed two Chroma rooms, uh, which you'll see, and the... I'd say smaller room, but there's actually a bigger room in, in but size. The smallest but the smaller the speakers scale that they speakers, showed. yeah. They you, use no metal in their construction of their speakers. That's a claim to fame of them. How about that? Of theirs, and maybe that's what makes the difference. I don't know. I don't know. Was, for these little speakers, and I don't even know what they cost. They well, they're just, not. They're not that little. They're about that tall. Well, a little compared to their other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're not. They're not. Um, there. They're more like that. Yeah. And uh, with the Bracosti, it was a great, great match, don't you think? Yeah, it filled the room in a way that the Alcivox did, to a point. It, in other words, it, it gave you a full dynamic sound from the whole side yes. of the room coming at you. I looked at, I looked at Terry, and I looked back at the speaker systems in the room. I'm going, this is a giant hotel I know. ballroom, and yet I'm getting total full sound. I don't hear two speakers no. sitting there drop down. I hear just a wall of sound, like a Phil Spector it, it was, sound. It was a chest pounding, fast, it was. super fast transients. It was. It was very, very impressive. It was impressive. So it had congratulations. The Bricosti, yeah, the Bricosti uh, M28s were the monoblocks. Beautiful. 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 What, a match. what a match. 
I mean, this was warm and big and vivid. Yeah. Uh, this is how Bricasti sounds, viewers. It is outstanding. It is outstanding because it gets the detail correct, but yet it has that organic and warmth yes. to it. Once the, again, it's detailed yet still warm. Still that's, warm. That's an achievement. Guys. That's an achievement. So big shout out to uh, Bricasti and to Chroma and the other players in that room. All right. Um, okay. All right, I'm okay. going to do the, the last one we're talking about. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Drum roll. Drum roll. Yeah. Bays. Counterpoint flagship speakers. I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> I don't either. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, we, we rave about these things because the sounds were really good this year. So this is all coming from the heart. But this was a step away from everything. I don't know what to say either because we played a live jazz trio. Yep, three blind uh, yeah, three mice. blind mice uh, recording. It's a beautiful 11-minute-long track. system reproduce a jazz trio like this like I was right there right there in the jazz club but you, you knew it was a recording but you could uh, you were so fooled because you would, the piano would come off in off to the left and oh my gosh it's like it's right here the correct tone on the piano impeccable decay the decay right. on the on the unbelievable. system unbelievable I the mean, transient attacks I, are spot on I think a lot of it did come through on the video I think I was so just too playing it a, a little while ago mm -hmm. So you'll get at least a beat on it. it. These are really, really important loudspeakers. These are something separate from the fray. Yep, we uh, we filmed them last year at uh, Hi-Fi Deluxe, the smaller ones, and then they had these uh, larger ones. Uh, the no, counter counterpoints. The counterpoints at Expona, yeah. at Expona, mm -hmm. and they were very good at Expona. And if you hear that or play that video, you can get a taste for it, but this was just... <laughs> Holy smokes! I, 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 again, I've never well, heard. Well, I didn't have enough time at Exponent to really sit and listen like I did this time. Yeah, yeah, we did. We spent much more time yeah. listening. I really need, need to hear other kind of music on this. Yeah, yeah, me I, too. I want to hear all kinds of music on these bays. No, there's just something very special going on. Again, they and take they off every box. Uh, I think for, you, you're right. You're right about the decay, and there's a naturalness to the transient attack mm -hmm. along with that beautiful decay and the sustain in the mid-range was mm -hmm. just so accurate in tone mm -hmm. so you're getting the tone of the upright bass you're getting the tone of the piano mm -hmm. i mean it was just i, I was startled i was mm -hmm. simply startled by mm -hmm. it so i mean i'm just i'm happy we you know just just to be in this business and to hear a loudspeaker do that i mean wow it's worth it it's worth it mm -hmm. so terry every year we take either a component home, mm -hmm. or the new thing is, Kemper Holt started this, we take a whole room home. So you're going to up at bat first. I'm going to take the Mal Valve room home because I thought that the room was tricky, but I know I could make those things sing in one of our listening rooms. So I want to hear with his electronics and mm -hmm. loudspeakers exactly what he had at the show. Mm -hmm. Well... I'd love to have that right here in this mm -hmm. in the Walnut Room system. I think Mal Valve would be perfect. Yes. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm taking home. I know. I'm taking the bass. I know. I mean, there's just I'm taking the bass home. Uh, I, I I can't. I would love to take the Elsevox home. I just don't have space for it. It just it's just. I, <laughs> one more one more thing I have to throw in before what? the end of this. The, the uh, designer for bass from mm -hmm. Hungary. It's also his server. And his amplifier. And his amplifier. So, and he's so, he's an electrical engineer, yeah. uh, a degreed electrical engineer. Uh, so yes, the whole system was Bayes Audio and his own cables as well. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this team that he's put together is Zoltan Bay, uh, and his uh, he has two other uh, people that That's help right. are and, part and, of the team. And all of that's explained in the AV showrooms video. Yeah, so you'll see it in the video. He talks we'll give you about snippets it. here, but the videos yeah. are, are, are more descriptive. Viewers, I don't know what to say. I mean, I think they're very unique looking. When I saw them last year, they looked like giant, I don't know, paper clips, people would call them, or pipes. I think or, they're beautiful. They're, they're work of art. They've totally grown on me. I've now seen them, and again, three shows. Yeah. And I could really envision them in my home. I can envision them in uh, uh, 
my Hong Kong apartment uh, or my Manhattan apartment. They're just stunning to look at. They are true works of art and they sound spectacular. And they're not sweet spots. No, they're, they're not. They have a big not, wide spot. Yeah. yeah. That's a wrap for Hi-Fi Deluxe 2019. Uh, we have almost 30 videos. We just mentioned these. These each have their own videos. So if you have an yep. interest in one of them, take a peek at the video. Take a peek at the video. Yep, these are uh, outstanding videos this year. Uh, Hi-Fi Deluxe 2019. Uh, outstanding show. Sonically one of the finest audio shows uh, in the world, in my opinion. Just superb show. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you next time, viewers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.